Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Sure, girl, Jazz with me, 77. I just wanted to come on and say hello. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I thank you so much for supporting my channel. To those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. Um, if it's purses, work bags, just regular bags, accessories, a little bit of fitness, and some planner related stuff. But I had to come on today because um, I wanted to proceed this video with a little disclaimer. So as you guys know, I did a um, purse band, no purse buying band for about two months. Um, my goal was two and a half months, but at two months, I jumped off. I mean, like, I jumped off the island. Do you hear me? Um, and so I started purchasing different items for my collection. So one of the things that I learned that I have kind of outgrown my purse collection. So I really feel like I'm going to be starting over. Um, some of my pieces I have decided to keep. And I will be coming to you guys more with, number one, what items I kept, what my purse collection looks like now. Also, I'm in the process of redoing my um, purse closet. My Actually, it's my regular closet, but just the area in which I keep my purses. I will be sharing that with you as well. But today, today, I wanted to share with y'all something very, very special. Um, because this right here houses my very first, very first um, purchase from Dooney that is in Florentine, and it's in my favorite color. So I did purchase a Florentine bag off the secondhand market, and I really loved it. I have not carried it yet. Um, I guess some of the fears that I've heard about carrying Florentine and how you have to take care of it and all that stuff, I have just not had the time to research and I do want to make sure that I'm caring for my bags appropriately. So if this is a video that y'all are interested in, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Hello. So since I've already done the introduction, let's just go ahead and get into this box. So you guys, I have been watching um, other people carry this bag for such a long time. I knew I was going to try it, but I didn't know the size. I didn't know um, what type of leather, if I wanted pebble green or if I wanted Saffiano. Um, no, I'm sorry, pebble green or Florentine. I decided to go with the Florentine because Dooney was having a wonderful sale last week and this bag was listed and I was like you know what this will be the perfect time to get it because it is a bag that um, is offered that is not normally my style but I'm learning that I do kind of like this style so let me take this out um, and you guys are not going to believe what I paid for this. So let me tell you a little bit first. So before I decided to get this bag, I was at my local belts one day and I saw the bag, but the color was in a crew and I picked the bag up and I always hear about people talk about how heavy the bag was. And I was like, this isn't so bad at this size. I was like, let me check it out. Y'all, I'm so excited to open this box. But let me check it out and see what it is. So I am um, went to the Dooney site. I saw it. And y'all, it was not only on sale, but it was on a huge sale. So this bag right here is normally... $368. Currently, it is on sale for $276 on I Love Dooney. But y'all, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what color it is. It is the Navy Satchel. And y'all, look what price I got it for. What? For Florentine? I am so excited. And not to mention, um, I got the wallet to match. So we're going to see that too. But I also have points. So this first purchase for me is going to be absolutely amazing. 
I am super, super happy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So y'all wanna open the purse or the wallet first. So let me tell y'all, I have watched everybody with this bag, right? And everybody has really liked this bag. So I've never received a quarantine bag before from Dooney. I don't know if this has been repackaged or not, but I've never seen where they put paper on the outside. So this probably is not. Yeah, this is not a new bag. Uh, but let's check her out. I'm not, I'm not going to flip. I'm not going to flip. But it says that she is 49 out of 50. Navy satchel. Okay. Um... I'm not going to flip. I'm not one of those people as long as this pack is good. But I knew when I saw this plastic and I saw this, that it wasn't going to be a new bag. I'm not going to be negative. Not going to be. Ooh, oh, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. So, of course, we all know if this bag was brand new, the handles would have been wrapped. This is probably a return. Um, everything would have been wrapped a little bit better than this, but I'm loving the color. I do see some dimpling, but that is okay. I kind of like the character. Um, let's look and see. She got some scratches, so I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I will try to rub it and see. She's got a couple of scratches, y'all. Um, I see a couple here, there. I don't know. I think somebody returned this. And you can tell, but I'm loving the red on the handles. I mean, on the um, tassels. I love that. It is beautiful. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh. So I saw this bag in Belk. And I know Florentine scratches, y'all. I do. And I'm not expecting, but I did I did not pay $3.98. But that does not mean that I don't want. Look at that. I don't know about this, y'all. Tell me. So there's some scratches here something here all oh, that came off i don't know they might have to send me another bag this is what i was worried about was the opening oh my god and what is that so that is sometimes why i don't like to do unboxings live but this is good because i can let them know i could tell y'all i'm let's keep going i'm not gonna say nothing let's keep going so the dust bag is here. Um, here's the strap that's not packaged and it doesn't have the little piece to it. You know, the plastic piece where you know it's new because it's still attached. It does have the tags in here. Um, and this is what it is. I'm not quite as excited, you guys, because I wanted my first Florentine to be my first Florentine. So y'all tell me. She's beautiful, though. She is beautiful. And given that I only paid, I want to say it was less than $174 because I had some points. But those were all my points. So I want to say I paid like $143 for her. If you apply all my points to her, because I do know. And then you see this is this is not traditional duty. So thankfully to all y'all wonderful ladies out here in the purse community, y'all have taught me the standard and what to expect when I'm getting new bags. Um I'm not gonna say that I'm completely dissatisfied. But I would have liked to have been the first person to open my first Florentine. I do see some imperfections on the bag. And then, like, some of this looks dirty to me. But it could just be scratches. But I see a lot of scratches. A lot of scratches. And then look on the back right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And right here. 
and right here. So I'm not asking for perfection, but at least a clean bag. And look at there. Oh, that's what I rubbed off earlier. So that's coming off. But she's beautiful. Um, traditional Dooney setup. I love the red against the navy blue. Um, have your two pockets there. And then you have your zip and your slip here. And then you know that's the same color as the bag. I was worried about the opening, but I think because the bag is so wide at the base that I'm okay with that. I'm just going to disconnect that since I didn't have the luxury of opening it myself. I'm going to tell you, I think I'm going to send this back. Um, tell me what y'all would do. So I'm excited to actually see it, but I'm bummed out that this isn't a new bag. Um, I'm bummed out that it's not new. So, but look at that. Like, I didn't pay for like a dirty bag. So it looks like the person probably had it and carried it a day and probably didn't know how to care for it. And when she got home and saw what it was like, she was like, maybe this isn't for me. But I like this size. Um, and it doesn't seem heavy, but I can see where it would get heavy really, really quick. Um, but it weighs 2 pounds and 11 ounces, just like it is. So you guys know it's going to get even heavier um, once. I'm just seeing a whole bunch of different imperfections. I don't think it's super bad, but I still don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Even though I didn't pay full price for it, um, I still kind of expect to have the new... Um, the new experience with this bag. Because the thing is, if I wanted to buy it secondhand, I'm pretty sure I could have purchased it secondhand. But that's just me. I mean, nothing was fully wrapped, nothing. So tell me what y'all would do. So now that it's went dumb dong on that, let's look at the wallet. Let's look at the wallet. This again was taped. So, not understanding if I'm going to get a used wallet as well. Good thing that um, I did. I, I have used Clarina after paying those things before. But because this was a treat for myself, I went ahead and paid for them. Plus, it wasn't that, it, to me, it wasn't as expensive as some of the bags. So, I won't have a problem getting refund, hopefully, or exchange. But yeah, this isn't this isn't new either, because Dooney doesn't wrap their stuff like this. So this is going back in the box. Oh yeah, it's beautiful though. But look, scratches all over it. Scratches here, there. Look at that. So I don't know. You got look. Look at that one. That's a really deep one. You see it? I don't know if I'm expecting too much and I know quarantine is going to scratch and all of that, but I want to be the person to put the first scratch on my, my quarantine. I'm sorry. And it looks really good. It's a beautiful um, bag, but I will tell you I'm a little disappointed because I'm just a little disappointed. It's a beautiful color, beautiful bag, but I still feel like I should have I should have been the person to enjoy this. Or if they're going to offer used bag or return bags, I think they should be like a as is or you know what you're getting when you order it. But to pay full price for a bag and not get what you're asking for, that's a bummer for me. So, although this bag will be going back, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone that would also like this video, please share it. Please, please, please. 
Um, if you are, if you've been on my channel before and you love my videos, but you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you will be notified then all the times that I put up new videos, okay? Remember, remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.